All right then gang, so in this video what I want to do is take everything we've done so far and use that JWT that we send back when we log a user in over here, we can see that and we're going to use that to authenticate a user on the server for every subsequent request so we can start to protect routes from people that are not logged in, all right? So we're going to do that in this video, but there's one quick thing I want to do before we do that, and that's just to add a couple of links up here in the header, one for the sign-up page and one for the login page. So I've already opened up the header.ejs file, and underneath the h1 inside the nav, I'm just going to paste in this ul. Two li tags, each one contains a link, the first one going to forward slash login for the login page, and the second one going to forward slash sign up for the sign up page this one has a class of button which is styled inside styles.css just to make it into a button all right so if i refresh now we can see both of those up here login takes us here and sign up takes us here so then say now for example i only want people who are logged in to be able to see this page right here which is reached by going to forward slash smoothies so i want to protect this route from unauthenticated users right but how do i do this well remember for every request that we make to the server the cookie and the jwt inside that cookie that we have right here is sent to the server as well so if we send a request to get the smoothies page by clicking on that button on the home page then on the server we can check the jwt that comes with that request now if this jwt is present and it's valid as well, then we can send back the smoothies page because then we're considering the user to be authenticated or logged in. If it's not present or it's not valid, for example, if it's been tampered with, then we can redirect them to the login screen so they can log in first of all. So we need to do two things right here. First of all, we need to detect that the JWT cookie exists on the request because if it's not there, then they're not logged in, then we'll just redirect them here to the login screen. Secondly, we need to verify that the JWT is authentic and it hasn't been edited or tampered with. And based on that, we send a response, all right? So to do this, we are going to create some custom middleware and then we can apply that middleware, which checks all this JWT stuff, to the routes that we want to protect. Does that make sense? All right, so to do this, I'm just gonna create a folder over here, let me close all these, called middleware. Now you don't have to put it in here, I'm just trying to keep my code organized so I can see at a glance what everything is. And then if I open this up, I'm gonna create a new file called auth middleware.js, all right? So that the first thing I need to do inside this file is require the JSON web token package because we're going to use that to validate or verify the JSON web token. So let me just paste that in. Remember, we installed that earlier and then we need to create this middleware function. So let's call this require auth because this middleware is basically going to check the authentication status and we're going to apply this middleware to any route that requires authentication all right so that makes sense so i'm going to set this equal to a function and inside this function we'll do something in a minute but first of all remember inside any middleware we get access to the request object oops i don't know what i've done there rendering something the request object and also we get the response object and we get the next method as well and at the end we always have to call the next method remember okay so we'll do that shortly so the first thing we want to do is grab the token from the cookies so remember because we use the cookie parser we can say something like this const and we want the token so we'll call it token and set it equal to the request dot cookies now we want a cookie called jwt so we can say dot jwt that's what we called the cookie remember and that's what it's stored as over here in this application tab all right so we're grabbing that token now now it might exist it might not so the next thing we need to do is check do we have the token so i'm going to place a little comment here first of all check json web token exists and is verified right or valid so we need to say if token so this will be true if 
there is a token. If there's no token and we don't have this JWT cookie, then this is gonna be false it and it's not gonna fire. So if we have this, we're gonna do something. If we don't have this, we're gonna do something else, right? And the other thing that we're gonna do is redirect them to the login screen because if we don't have a token, we're not logged in. So let's redirect them somewhere where they can log in. So we can do that by taking the response object and redirecting to forward slash login, just like that. So say for example, we place this middleware function in front of some routes like forward slash smoothies. It's gonna fire this first of all, right? And if it finds that there's no token, then it's not gonna carry on with the request handler for that route because it's just gonna redirect to this page, okay? So if we have the token, at that point, what we want to do is try to verify the token. Now to do that, we can use a method on this JWT package. So I can say JWT.verify. So this is the method we're gonna to use to verify a token. We pass in the token, which we have from here. And as a second argument, we pass in the secret which we used, and it has to be the same as the secret that we used to sign the tokens. Now, if we take a look inside the controller, up inside this function, we use this secret right here. So we need to grab that, and we need to paste it here because ultimately what's happening is we're taking the JWT that comes with the signature, right? And we're going to try to basically recreate that signature based on the headers, the payload, and this secret. And if the signatures match after we've done this, then we're saying, yeah, this is valid. This is a valid token. So this thing right here, takes a third argument, which is a function, and that fires once this has checked it. Now this function takes in two arguments. It takes in an error, if there's an error, and the decoded token, if we manage to decode the token and there's no error. All right, so inside this function, first of all, we need to check, is there an error? Because if there's an error, then it means that the token is not valid, and at that point, again, we want to redirect them to the login screen. So let's grab that and paste it inside an if check to see if there's an error. So if error, and we want to redirect them if there is. Let's also log to the console, the error.message. All right, so then, if there's an error, we're doing this. If there's not an error, at that moment in time, what we need to do else is then say, okay, well, we'll just log the decoded token to the console so we can see that. And then we're gonna use this next function to say, well, now you can carry on with what you were doing. So at that point, it will carry on with the handler function for the forward slash smoothies route, which is then gonna send back the smoothies view. All right, so it can carry on and do that. And it does that by us saying next. Now I am gonna log, like I said, to the console, the decoded token. So console.log decoded token. All right. So that's all there is to it. We're now creating this function right here, this middleware function, which we can place in front of any route that requires authentication. If they are authenticated, if we have the token and this is valid, then we're going to just fire the next function. And that basically lets it carry on with the next middleware. And that would be the middleware inside the route handler for forward slash smoothies. So if we take a look in app.js, when we go to forward slash smoothies, it's this thing right here and it would render that view. So that's if we have a token and it's verified. If we don't have a token, then it's gonna redirect to login. If we have a token, but it's not valid, then it's gonna redirect to login. And we never get to see this thing right here, the smoothies view. It never gets to this because we don't say next. We just redirect, all right? So the next thing we need to do is export this function. So let me say module.exports is equal to an object and inside there we're going to export require auth like so all right so now we have that we want to place it in front of this function right here as middleware so it's going to fire right about here so i'm going to say a require auth oops require auth like so now we need to import this function so let me grab it and up here i'm going to say const and we want to grab the require auth equals require and we're going to get this from dot forward slash middleware to go into the middleware folder forward slash auth middleware so this should all work now if we're authenticated we should see the smoothies page if we're not authenticated then it's going to redirect us to forward slash 
login. Now I'm going to cross my fingers because there's probably going to be some kind of error that I don't know about. But at the minute, right, I am not logged in if I delete that JWT. If I refresh over here, we don't have that token. So if that's the case, I'm not logged in, right? And if I go to the smoothies page by clicking this button, I shouldn't see it. It should redirect me to the login screen. So let me try that. There we go. It works. It doesn't let me see that screen. Okay, cool. Now, if I was to log in Mario at Google.com and the password is test12 and if I log in, we get the JWT right here. Now, if I try to go to the smoothies page, now I can see it because this is present. It's being validated on the server or verified and it's seeing me as logged in. Therefore, it just says next. OK, you go on, carry on what you were doing. You can render this view right here to the user and they can see it because they are authenticated. So now we could use this middleware on any route that we wanted to. If we really wanted to, we could make it so the home page required authentication and therefore we couldn't even see the home screen without being logged in. So if I was to open up this and delete the JWT and then try to go to the home page, I can't even see the home page now because I'm not logged in. All right. So this is a nice little middleware function we can apply to any route that we want to protect from unauthenticated users.